Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. In this video, we're going to talk about camshafts. Specifically, if you're switching from a hydraulic flat tappet, like was in this engine, to a hydraulic roller. Now, there are some huge differences between these two camshafts besides the color. We're going to look at the specs so we can see how similar they are. I chose a cam that's very, very similar in lift and duration to this camshaft just so that the, the performance will be similar. But there are some significant differences when you're switching from a hydraulic flat tappet to a hydraulic roller. And we will get into uh, the valve springs and valve train weight, valve train inertia, all that stuff that helps determine or really determines what valve spring is required between these two because the same valve springs are not going to work for both cams. Well, they would work, but it wouldn't work well. And in order to get optimum performance, there are some things you need to know about the difference between the two. And when I change the springs and the cylinder heads, we'll go over that. But right now, let's take a close look at the difference between these two camshafts. Now here are the two cam cars for both camshafts. First, we start with the hydraulic flat tappet. You can see the gross valve lift is 545 intake, 545 exhaust. And for the roller, the intake is 549, 544. Very, very close. Then we looked at the duration. Duration at 50 for the uh, hydraulic flat tappet is 241, 247. For the hydraulic roller, it's 242, 248. Very, very similar. The lobe separation angle is still 110 degrees, so those are both the same. The uh, opening valves is, is very, very similar in duration, but we're going to talk about that in a second. But let's take a look at the difference between the lifters. The first obvious thing to see is that the hydraulic flat tappet lifter is a lot smaller than the roller because the roller has got to fit in there. So when you take two of these lifters, for a hydraulic flat tap at versus a roller, there's a considerable weight difference. And that weight difference is we're going to talk about the valve train inertia when we, when we discuss valve springs with the cylinder head portion. But here's the major difference between these two camshafts. And one of the most common questions people send me is, can I use my, if I have a, a, a flat tap at cam, can I just put roller lifters in there? And the answer is no. If you look at this camshaft, you can see the shape of the lobes. See the shape of the lobe? This lobe on the flat tappet is comes up and it's much pointy, much more pointy than the roller. The roller is a faster opening and it's rounder at the top. You can see how it's bigger at the top and it has a more aggressive slope. So the roller camshaft opens faster to hold the valve open while the flat tappet is more gradual. So that's a huge difference right there, is the performance. That's why people choose the roller cam, is because the roller will give you faster opening of the valve, holding it open longer, and then closing it faster, which is also a significant portion of why you need different valve springs. But you can't change these lifters from one side to another. You can't use a flat tappet on a uh, roller cam and, and vice versa because on the camshaft on a flat tappet the lobes on the cam are ground at an angle so while this looks like it's sitting flat it's not this is ground at an angle so while the engine is rotating or while the engine is running and the cam is rotating the lifters rotate in the bore and it's that ground angle on the lobe that makes the, the lifter rotate in the bore. The roller, the roller surfaces are ground flat, completely flat, and the rollers have to sit flat on the on the uh, on the lobe. If you were to take a hydro uh, the uh, roller and put it on a flat tappet cam, since this is ground at an angle, the roller itself would sit on an angle. It would not be sitting flat and all the pressure would be on one side and it would break the break the roller. It wouldn't last that long. Same way if I took a flat tappet and put it on a roller cam, 
put it this way, since this is ground flat, the lifter would ride flat on the camshaft and just simply wear a huge, a huge gouge in here. It wouldn't last very long. So you cannot take flat tappet lifters and put them on a roller, and you can't take roller lifters and put them on a flat tappet cam. Now both of these cams are made by Comp, and this is the front of the cam where the push rod for the for the fuel pump rides, and you can see. The flat tappet cam has a very little surface here where the roller has a huge surface for that fuel pump rod to ride on, which makes it a little easier. Um, just a design difference, this one worked fine. You can see the wear mark on here where the push rod was riding, so this big surface isn't absolutely necessary, but it probably saves them money because these are cast differently or they're forged differently. In all of my engine build videos, I say the most successful build starts with planning. And you have to know why you are choosing specific components. If you're building a racing engine or a high horsepower engine and you want roller with solid lifters or, or flat tap it with solid lifters because you want the RPM, the valve springs are going to be much different than a roller. If you want the everyday reliability and not have to worry about adjusting lash constantly, you go with the roller. The roller that's going to have less friction because there's a roller and hydraulic you won't have to do the lash adjustments as often as a hydro uh, as a flat tap it's solid which you have to do lash adjustments so planning your build is going to make your engine more successful understanding the camshaft choice how does that affect the valve springs that are in the head how does that affect the overall rpms of the engine because you have to know the mass there's all kinds of things that go into it and uh, we won't get to that here but i just wanted to show you the basic differences between the two camshafts those those cams are almost identical in measurements for lift and duration but they're they're going to perform differently because how fast the valve opens and how fast the valve closes and those require different springs so we're going to go through that in another video now if i were to take those cams and put them in they both fit identical they're identical for lobes identical for size they both fit in here but they both fit in the block exactly the same so that doesn't matter the journals are going to be the same the difference is in the lobes so we're going to go through some detail on valve spring choices uh, what the difference is in the inertia or, or the weight that causes the inertia for the valve opening and closing and why your spring choice is incredibly important when you are switching from a hydraulic uh, flat tappet to a hydraulic roller. There's a significant difference and I'll cover that in a future video so hit the like and subscribe button. You can follow along and I'll give you all those details so you choose the right springs when you make that, cha that change from flat tappet to roller. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.